Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. In this episode, we are going to learn about many things like, like forms, validation, migration, model, blade, everything we have learned but we are going to implement all that things. Okay, so in this episode, I have just created a small project called to-do list and this idea is came from our user, I think his name is Mashad Zaid and thank you Mashad for giving me that idea. Actually, he has given me an idea to create a big project, but I will create a big project after completing all the small stuffs. But before that, I will just create a small project so that it include all of these things. So let's start this project and this project will be in two parts. So this is first part. In the first part, we are going to do these things like all these layout page resource controllers, migration model and in the second part we will do all the validation saving data to database errors okay let's start layout page and we have to use bootstrap so i will just create a folder and inside that folder i will create app.blade.php file and this is blade okay app.blade.php file and i will say html5 and this is to do lists and here I will say container and inside that container I will say row and again container spelling is wrong container okay okay inside this I will say section and section name is body and here I will say show as we are using bootstrap we have to include bootstrap cdn files so here is that cdn file this is link tag you can just google bootstrap cdn and you can land on this page okay so here it will be css and this script tag and here will be the script tag so our app.blade.php is ready so i will just comment out that so that I will get the idea that this is done. Now I have to create a resource controller and you know how to create a resource. So I will go to my command prompt and I will say php artisan make controller. Controller name is to do controller. Controller. <laughs> controller. Then resource. Hit enter. And it will create the resource controller. And where is the controller? App http controller and here is the controller and you can see all these things are created because of the resource controller okay so resource controller is done and along with this i will just go to p web.php so that i can create a resource controller so just type here route and resource controllers route and i will say to do and after that the controller name and controller name we know that to do controller and semicolon and it's done now home page for home page i will just go to to do folder in the view folder and i will say home dot blade dot php here i will just extends extends what layout dot app so i will say section here i will say body and here I will just obviously we have to end section so here I will just create a margin by b tag br tag and I will say call lg4 and hit enter and just call lg offset 4 okay and here I will say to do lists and just check all these things so for that i have to go to my to do controller and in the index function i will just return this view and view name is to do dot home and semicolon go to my server and hit enter and it will say an error okay the problem is we have to type here to do and hit enter and here is this is to do list okay 
and I have to create a UI list so that I can show the lists. So for that, I will go to Boots Watch, and here you can see all of the components of Bootstrap. So here, list group, list group. I will copy this. I will just paste here, and just refresh that page, and you can see this is here. This is not in the center, so just wrap this with center tag and hit enter and yes it's at the center okay this is not in our project so just delete these two and also this span this is correct so this is first item so this is first item yeah this is first item but to create a new list i must have a button which will be like class btn btn info and i will say add new and yes here is the button and this button will forward me to to do slash create okay so here is to do slash create because we does not have anything so just quickly create that create dot blade so we have completed this and we want to create a page of create page so in the to do folder i will just say create dot blade dot php and likewise extends we know that layout dot app and section and end section and section name is body inside that section i will just again give a margin and after that uh, h1 tag which says create new item for to do list and i will just wrap this inside a div so that i can give a perfect margin okay so I will again say class and I will just copy all these things from here copy paste and this is inside this and like this good and just see create page so for that we have to just connect this page to our controller so return what view view name is to do dot create and semicolon and now when i go to create page by clicking add new button and it will land me on the create it become very large so just cut something from this so just create new item yes create new item okay and create new item we have to give a form and again for the forms I have to go to the boot swatch and here in the boot swatch I have this form and I will just copy all these things and after that I will delete unnecessary things so just paste and I does not need I will delete cancel button and now just see the result okay and this label I will also delete what's that label here is the label and now delete and delete this also and make it a success button and make it inside and delete this form group and for that I'll just say a br tag okay rows will be five and that's good okay so we have successfully created the create page okay so i will just give a back button which will say to do okay and here i will say class btn btn info and say back we have to make this this is working properly okay so we have successfully created this page create page we have successfully created a form so comment these all things and now the crsf field okay 
So I have already told you about CRSF field, but for now I will just give you a quick info that CRSF field is just, just the cross side reverse forgery and this will protect you from uh, any malicious activities on your website so that not other person will submit a request on behalf of you okay here i will say csrf underscore field and just check this by going to create page and view source and you can see here it's a hidden field hidden input field and which is which has the value of this random something and this is the actually the CSF token and this token if this token is mismatched then your submission form submission will be cancelled out okay so this is very good practice to keep this CSRF field in your project let's check what we have completed we have completed CSRF field now the form action the form action will be what for the form action okay we have to submit this form and uh, actually we have to store this form so let's just see the routes we have created for that we have we can type php artisan route list and here you can see that to store where is the store here is the store to store data into the database you will go to this function inside the to do controller by going to the same to do route with post method okay when i go from get method it will do it will go to index page and what that index page is and that index page is this but when i go to to do url with post method then it will give me to this store function of that to do controller okay so this is the difference between this two to do url okay so i will just say here in the form action i will say to do and before that a uh, backslash okay and obviously method is post as i just show you okay so we have completed the action and method part of that form now the migration and we have done the migration so i will just quickly create the migration and just see what the migration have migration just have a body so just name this text box body and nothing else okay so we have to create a migration so i will type php artisan make migration and migration name is create to do table and we can create to do table but we have to create obviously model also so for that i will just say make model and here model name model name is to do and with that i will just say dash and m what this dash m will do this dash m will create a migration for this to do model and this will create a migration for to do table okay just hit enter and you will see model created successfully and created migration also so here you can see that inside this app folder you see this model and inside that database and migration you can see here this is the to do list and our table name is to do's okay so we want to have a field called body and this will be just a string because items are small okay so i will just close this and see what will remaining this will done so we have to create that table for that i will say php migrate hit enter there's an error what that error is okay because my server is not started i will just start my server okay now my server is started and just repeat this command and yeah the table is created for that i will just go to my server that means php my admin and this level database you can see here the to do table is created with just three things what that three things is 
one is id that is body and the timestamp obviously this timestamp is created at and updated at okay so let's go and we have completed all these things in the first half of this to do list mini project and we will meet in the next part where we will do all these things so stay tuned and keep watching this second part will coming very very soon okay so before going please subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram and please share this video with your developer friends and keep watching bit fumes and keep supporting by subscribing commenting sharing anything you can do and thanks for your comments thanks for your request if you have any problem in this episode just feel free to comment me and if you have any problem related to your project any project i will here to help you just comment me and i will surely surely help you okay so we'll meet in the next part okay bye